he really bashed up the female pretty good over the course of about two days. But how cool do all the Judochromus regani look? So that's a Neolampologus walteri. He was bashing her up so much that I decided to move her with her shell. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, I'm gonna take you through a little bit of another tour of the fish room. Uh, not a lot has happened in the past week, but I just wanted to show something to you guys that I thought was quite interesting and kind of ruined my plans for this week's video. So let's get into it. So guys, like I said last week, the color of these Leilupi aren't this orange. Uh, this camera, it's on a new mobile phone, uh, just makes the colors look so rich. But regardless, they look quite nice, don't they? And um, what I'm showing you today is obviously my Neonoprologus Leilupi. And these are the Longior, so the orange type. You can see all the fry they've got. And the other day, the male bashed the hell out of the female. So that's the female there. You saw the male swimming away before. It's quite embarrassed to be on camera now that he's uh, bashing his missus. Uh, there he is now. He's just popped his head out of the cave. Uh, yeah, he, he really bashed up the female pretty good over the course of about two days. So I took that as the sign to take a chance and move these guys out of this tank into their own tank. I was all ready to do it, I was ready to film it, show you guys the process, and then they made up and they're a pair again. So that's how uh, fragile the bond is with Le Lupi. They That's the second time since I've purchased them that he's kind of belted her, and then uh, the bond has formed again. So that's the second time in two and a half months. Now that they're back as a pair, I'm gonna leave them be in this tank a little bit longer. I'm gonna try and get the fry out without stressing the pair up. And hopefully the bond stays. Obviously if the pond breaks again, I will definitely move them out. And I'm, I'm thinking about moving them into my Neolampologus Brevis Sunspot tank, moving the trio out of there. Look, at, look how they're courting with each other. Uh, Mal got a bit frightened there. And there's no eggs under this spawn. Her third spawn, I'm not sure what happened to it. I'm not sure if it, it survived or if the fry that are in this tank ate their younger brothers or siblings that were just born. So I'm not sure what happened with that spawn, unfortunately, but uh, if it did succeed, well, those fry are in amongst these fry. I do notice that there are almost three different sizes, like you've got these really large ones like this guy here right in the middle and some really smaller ones, but then you've got guys like this one here who aren't as big as the largest they loop in the tank, so I'm not sure if that middle uh, sized guy there uh, is from the second spawn or the smaller guys are from the second spawn, so I'm not sure. But regardless, there are a lot of fry in this tank and I can't wait to see how well they go for at the auction and what colours they are. Are they going to be a muddy, <laughs> a muddy colour because they're in a dark tank or are they going to be a nice uh, bright orange colour like their parents? So we'll soon find out in the next few months. But yeah, so that's that tank. Unfortunately, I uh, didn't get to move them out. So they're going to be in here for a little bit longer until they bond breaks again, I suppose. And I was going to move them into this tank here. So my Neolamprologus brevis sunspot tank. You can see the trio here. They're the three parents. Uh, the female has managed to successfully transition to this shell here without getting bashed up by the male. She used to live in the shell all the way back there, then transitioned to a shell that was here. He was bashing her up so much that I decided to move her with her shell to the back of the tank, which was she was in that shell there because I was trying to save her from getting bashed by the male. She didn't care. She moved into another shell that was at the front here. She persisted. So she's actually in this shell here. You can kind of make out, there you go, she's come out. And uh, so she moved back at the front of the tank to be closer to the male and he stopped bashing her. He got used to her being there and uh, yeah, now the two females are right next to each other. No line of sight being broken. You can see they're within the space of about three inches and the male has just accepted that she's there. So, and you can see the large fry that are with them now. Uh, these fry aren't getting killed off by the male. I can't believe that they're, they're fine in here with, uh, with the large trio. Uh, and 
yeah, these guys, I've tried to stop them from spawning because I've just got way too many brevis. So hopefully going to sell some of them soon. Uh, and I'll be selling the breeding trio. So if you're interested in buying the breeding trio off me, hit me up, jasoncichlids at gmail.com. Send me an email. The email address is in the pinned comment on this video. And I'm happily uh, sell them to you because, yeah, I, I just want to... Uh, try something different and as I said I intend to put the lay loopy in this tank uh, the nice white uh, sand or as you can see some of it is a bit green I do intend to get all these guys out clean the sand bed and put the lay loopy in and then they can breed in this tank and have a lot more room but, uh, yeah uh, my intention with the trio where I'd move the trio to would be in this tank down here my Kawenga Golds and Regani Excuse the algae on the front of the tank, and yeah, the ventralis, so they'd go in there. I think they'd be okay in this tank. Uh, they are Regani Fry, that are really small uh, on the rock work. You can see them there. You can see them swimming around, hopefully, darting around the rock. Really tiny fry. So there's two batches of Regani Fry in this tank, and they survive because their parents are really aggressively defending them. How beautiful is their colour? So, this is the tank the brevis were going. So guys just got to Adam's house and you can see the sand sifters he bought last month. How they're doing, they look awesome schooling around the tank together. He's also just bought uh, some Neil Ampelogus cylindricus, this guy here. He's got three of them in this tank. Hopefully one male and two females. But how cool do all the Judochromus Regani look? Big school of them. I love this tank. It's three foot long by three foot wide by two foot deep. Fantastic tank and he can tank. So he uses it to grow out a lot of his cichlids. So this tank, Adam has just purchased some Neolamprologus Walter Eye. Well, I'm seeing is Adam's reflection. Okay. So that's a Neolamprologus Walter Eye. That's the male. Mm -hmm. uh, she's at the back and the female's at the back somewhere but this tank has made a huge transition looks beautiful and his albino bristlenose are actually gold really nice Adam I love the java moss on the on the mm. what is that uh, Texas holy rock yeah Cause this it's going really my, nice my six fasciatus gold breeding tank yeah yeah a yeah. pair of neolamprologus six fasciatus in here breeding but the glass was covered in algae as you can see it's crystal clear now thanks to all those bristlenose and they're a beautiful color really nice hopefully he gets those Walter eye to breed so there you have it guys unfortunately there wasn't much to report on this week but I didn't want to produce a long video just for the sake of it and bore you guys so I do hope you found this video kind of enjoyable uh, if you did please hit the thumbs up comment and subscribe buttons I really would appreciate it all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.